Come on, let me so being that cool. uh, subscribe to this channel. It's about entrepreneurship, it's about personal development, financial knowledge. Today, I want to talk to you about how to build your house as an entrepreneur. How to build your house as an entrepreneur. How to build your house as an entrepreneur. And um, house people building a house or buying a house is a big deal in all over the world, and uh, I think it's overhyped. And it's one of the reasons most people struggle financially all their lives. And so you, uh, when you start business, the path that you have to take as to when you want to build your house and the path that somebody who doesn't have a business or who may probably have money to uh, build a house or get access to mortgage are entirely different. The, the kind of thinking, the kind of mindset that you must have as an entrepreneur uh, should be i have to raise the business to a state where i can then take money from the business to build a house which means that you must have a lot uh, you must have a lot of strength uh, not to succumb to uh, the pressure from the society because most people attach success to to a house the man has a very big house the man has a very you know beautiful house in a very nice neighborhood when you start your business and the business is not so much strong a house a nice house will cost you a lot maybe 300,000 cities or or more a nice house three bedroom house four bedroom house you know so and i know that most people in our country uh, built you know five bedroom ten bedroom kind of thing it, it it's a social status especially there are some regions when you go there you see the kind of houses that people have built there's just a massive which means that uh, if you want to take money from the business to put up that house especially if the intention is 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 so that people will know that you're successful or sometimes even some people will say that i'm tired of paying rent i uh, in our instance um, in our situation i we were i was not really that much disturbed about renting I really did not mind because you had to raise the business to a state where a lot of money was coming in and maybe we were maybe we were intelligent in this because we we built the business to a level where the businesses were doing well and then we decided to you know get a place in town and to build some moderate house we didn't use mortgage we didn't use loan and we did business is not so far when we finish building those and as a business person you know we have a couple of houses that we rent as business uh, those we, we we sell we are developers we are into retail we are into we've been in construction for a lot of time you know so the kind of experiences that we gather are as to what it takes to put out some kind of house and the processes that you know you have to go through to do those we're not so when people were pushing somebody will even ask you are you still living where you are living as if when you when you when you rent it means that you're unsuccessful and so you must know that you must have a good plan uh, to put up the, the house that you want to be you should not be under pressure of course i understand that if you have a family you have children uh, you must you know you must think of that you must think of the children the family the space but at the same time if you after finishing building you know after you have finished building that house and the business is no more it's so likely that you didn't make a right decision and most people most people especially people who are not able to build their business to employ more people sometimes uh, go through that and i even know big contractors who finish building a huge house and then the business was no more or the partners split because the house the understanding of most people in a house is that when I remember I mean when you start to do those things people start to think that uh, you have money people start to think that uh, maybe especially if you owe some people <laughs> they will come for you because you have put a house you have put up a house and so when you have when you're going to build a house make sure that you're in a very good situation in a very good state where you have a lot of assets and the business is doing so well so that you don't become so much uh, pressed there's no need to go and borrow to build a house especially around 20 percent 30 percent a month you will destroy yourself you'll destroy your business and you have to understand that as a business person as an entrepreneur uh, your part is different your whole idea is to test the business model which starts to work it starts to grow and you're able to explode it you know what it will take somebody five years ten years to build a house without bank loan you you can build that house in no time because then you have accumulated the money so when you start to build the house within a very short time you have you have completed the house the other thing is 
sense that when you have a lot of businesses ongoing, especially in the cities, and you go to buy a land, let's say in a Masama area or so on area, just because you are under pressure, you know, by the time you finish building uh, at those places, the traffic alone and the journey and a lot of your businesses are in town you have really complicated your life you know because now you're divided you spend one hour two hours in traffic because you were so much you know under pressure to build so uh, i think that you must have a mind on your own when it comes to building a house as a business person and uh, you must also know that when the business does well when you're able to succeed uh, what it will take people few you know years to do you will take few months to do and then it will not even be one house you'll be able to be in a position where you own a lot of houses and so the, so the agenda as an entrepreneur is just not to build a house and impress people it's to build a business and when the business is doing well then you can think of you know getting a place so which means that your your mind should be different your mind should be different building a house requires a lot of money so if your business is not in that position don't put yourself in any big trouble and and don't go for loan to build a house when your business is struggling you don't need that and any loan that is around 10 20 that is around 20 percent a year 30 percent a year because building a house is said that once you put the money in it doesn't come back it stays there forever especially the house that you're going to live in when they say that the house is an asset i don't know if it's so true because you know when you are in a critical position or in this situation and you have to sell the house you may not get the price that you're looking for and then the house that you have built everything else goes up you know electricity will go up you are always maintaining something on the house there's always one expenditure or the other so it's not like you are saving the sa uh, you are saving so much on the rent uh, because you have a house no it, i think you even spent more because we were paying very little rent when you we were renting two bedroom somewhere you know and 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 when we put up the house what comes in the electricity alone <laughs> is more than the rent <laughs> we're paying about all the other things that you have to do and and don't forget the kind of money that you have to sink into people into building this house it's a lot so when you are not in a position to take that and you push yourself some people will even go and buy land and continue to buy cement build it gradually those are our mindset of the person who does not want to fail you know and being go, becoming building a successful business and not not failing are entirely different things you know you can you can play not to fail it's okay but if you really want to launch and grow and have access and have business do some kind of you know a certain level of where uh, i mean well built business where you have some kind of profit every month you know you have to raise the businesses to a state where a profit a month can build that house that you want so if that house is going to cost you let's say a million you've been able to build a business set that in a month you have that which means that when you take that million or let's say five hundred thousand or three hundred thousand when you take that money from that business it is not going to affect you in any way because you'll you be and it takes a lot of time to go through the processes to get to that level and you have to be very tough you have to have a mind on your own you have to think for yourself mm. You don't have to um, 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 give to social pressure, especially from family and from friends. Because sometimes parents will think that, you know, everybody else is built and why are you still living where you are? Because the people want to say that their children are successful or their friends are successful or their family people are successful. You know, things like that. So when they come and you are still where you are, they, f they feel like you are hiding something in a business because you're not being straightforward. You're not being honest <laughs> because you're struggling. And people, a lot of people will talk like that. But you must have a mind on your own and continue to push, build the business. I am more of where you're building the business. There's a lot of SS capital coming in. You can put it in the business. You're growing it. You're not so much running on a lot of debt with huge huge interest rate you know such that your business becomes unsustainable you're always under pressure those kind of things you push yourself out and you, you're able to build a business where the business is you know is self-sustaining is self-regenerating you're able to do a lot of things you are not constantly under pressure you're able to employ people you can you know you are you have time to think you have time to do a lot of things all by your you know by the by the team by the systems that you have set in place then you start to put out some kind of house if you want but the house is for me is out of convenience a house is more of a convenience is more of a social status than a symbol of uh, you being uh, rich i don't think so especially because somebody with let's say apartment 20 unit apartment or 100 unit apartment who is renting single room in town 
is far more successful financially than somebody who has a 10 bedroom house that he lives in with the family that there's no rent coming anywhere so let's say you have been able to you know build businesses start bringing us money the, the top richest people around the world don't know so much not so many of them don't you don't even see the house started because they have so much wealth that they just took letter uh, out of their work to build those houses most majority of people would rather take every wealth that they have to build a house to live in and then they want everybody to come and look at that house. It's, so you have to have a mindset as a business person. You are entirely different from the others, you know. Uh, but I'm also of the opinion that when you are get when you are old, maybe around 50 or 60, then you must get a place at least per chance. If you're no more, your children have, can have somewhere to live. But you know, but if you leave them money, you don't, <laughs> they will know what to do. <laughs> Let's say you leave them 100 million, yeah, houses are much. They will find a place to live. So the agenda or the the, the mission should be to build a to build a business that is doing so much work so um, my name is hoping that subscribe to this channel talking about building a, your house as an entrepreneur or how we're able to build a house it took us less than five months to build a five bedroom uh, story uh, not so much the, the land is in town uh, it was expensive you know <laughs> but maybe you were in that position to do that without killing the business you know but uh, by the time you finish building it everybody also thinks that and out of that we also have businesses that are doing you know well uh, houses that are doing you know maybe you, some things like that because you have we built a, a psyche myself and my wife built a psyche where we were not going to give into pressure from anybody you know so we were going according to the pace that we thought was good you know so we didn't have to borrow to do those things we didn't have to take mortgage to do those things and we didn't and this is definitely not one now it's growing you know so don't press so much and crash crash everything just to go and buy a house or build a house because everybody is pressing on you or pressing you and asking you and sometimes when it's also coming from the partner i mean your partner it's your wife or your husband that you have lived in this house so much everybody thinks that we are poor you know and when people think that you have money the first thing that comes to your mind is to go and build a house and it's amazing i think that if you want to build uh, wealth and you want to grow your business and position the business well don't think of build, building a house first